Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar from BuyMeAnIPhone.com, and uh, today I picked up a new little toy. Uh, it's mainly for my wife, but I'm also going to be probably using it in some of my videos as well. And it's the uh, Rebel EOS, the EOS Rebel T2, T2i uh, DSLR camera. Really nice camera. I actually I have a coworker that has this exact same camera. I've been playing with hers for a little bit, so I figured, you know, I like it so much. My wife has been wanting to get a DSLR, so this is the one I picked up. So I'm going to give you guys a quick unboxing of this, uh, mostly because I don't want the review to be like... 20 minutes long, so I figured I'd get this three, four minute video out of just the unboxing and show you guys what comes inside of it, okay? So let's go plus it open here. The usual stuff, we get all our paperwork and everything. We have our, what is this, warranty. We have uh, more warranty information. It comes with the disc EOS Digital Solution Disc from Macintosh. It has a bunch of different utilities, version 2.2.4. 2, 2, uh, it does work with Macintosh and PC. Then we have the EOS Digital Software Instruction Manual. Uh, for Windows and for Mac as well. After that, we get our uh, some other manuals here. So we have the EOS stuff is all wrapped up. I guess I can open it up real quick for you to show you what actually comes uh, inside of them, which manuals are included in here. So we have the EOS 550D and the 550D. Hmm, I'm not sure what the difference is. In, oh, I guess one's in Spanish, one's in English. So basically, the exact same thing except. The English one here. So nice, nice little book right there. A couple of the things here. Great photography is easy. Do more with macro. Talking about lenses and different things like that. And that's pretty much it for that. Try my photo. My little piece of information right there. So that's all that paperwork and such. So let's see what else comes inside the box here. Pop this open. First off, we have a strap, Canon strap. We have the. Uh, Power connector, DC. This is the one end of it. I'm sure the uh, little brick part of it is in here. We have our RCA cables. Yep. Yeah, so that's the RCA welcome to the television. There's the uh, charger for the battery, right there. And that's what this that's what this connects to. So this does work with a rechargeable battery, a lithium ion battery. Right there. And there is the battery right there. This is the uh, let's see here LPE8. I'm not sure how that pops out, but basically, larger battery, and that's what you put inside here. Charge it up. We have our lens right here. Nice and wrapped up, real good. And this is an 18 uh, to 55 millimeter lens. There we go there. Both caps on it. So you can keep this, if you're gonna be swapping the lenses out, you'll have that and be able to put the cap back on it, protect it from getting scratched up or anything. And we have a USB cable here for, uh, yeah, USB, mini USB to regular USB for putting videos on the computer. Because this does shoot 1080, 1080 uh, HD video. And the other reason I got this camera is because it does have also a uh, built-in mic input. Let's pop this out here, nice little cloth. And there's the body. So, nice big three inch screen. Pretty lightweight, guys. It's uh, I mean, obviously it's a big, it's a big camera. Most DSLRs are pretty large, but uh, not that heavy at all. Of course, the lens isn't even on yet, so that could be one reason why. But just the body by itself isn't too bad. And so, like I said, it has a bunch of different inputs: HDMI, microphone in. You can use a remote with this. AV digital out. All sorts of fun stuff. So I'm gonna start using this and testing this out. We'll be taking some pictures of our girls and just using this for trips and all those types of things. Plus I'll probably be using it in my videos as well for maybe like a second angle. Since I'm using it right now, I use my Canon Vixia right now to film the video reviews, but I'll probably have this to the side. Maybe should just join different angles and stuff, make the videos a little more interesting. But that's pretty much it guys. I picked this up at Best Buy. Uh, retails for $7.99, $800 and uh, looking forward to start playing with it. So that's pretty much it for now guys. I'll probably come back to you maybe in a month or a couple weeks from now with the full review of this product. And I'll basically tell you how my experience has been with the, uh, the EOS Rebel T2i from Canon, okay? See you guys in, uh, in the next video review.